Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. And everybody is sound asleep. Just happened to catch that one time when even Edmund isn't up yet. <laughs> where, where did... That's interesting. Why is that popping up only when my mouse goes up there? I don't remember doing that before. Is that new? No, they're all turned off. That's why. <laughs> I must have done something last time. Okay, four in the morning. There's Edmund. He's getting up. Edmund should drop into construction, but there's not much more to build other than these fences. That's probably what he's going to do. And grabs a loaf of bread, and off we go. Simon is thinking about his life over there. How you doing, Simon? You're in pretty decent shape. Turn the volume down a notch. The music sometimes gets quite loud right here in front of me. Um, bricks? I think that's probably our best call for Simon. Simon, let's get you... Your limit is reached. Oh. Well, let's increase that limit. Let's make that a 400. Okay. So with that, Simon... No. There. Let's get some bricks made. And by then, you'll probably want to grab a seat. And then, where are we otherwise? Concrete is there. Alloy is there. But scrap metal is only there. Hmm. It might not hurt for Simon, who's pretty good everywhere else, to... Did I say Simon? Carter. To play some music and then drop down... Actually... I don't know when the next attack is going to hit. I thought about sending him out to maybe grab some ore. We could probably do that. His food is up there. You are silicon. You are ore. Add that one. Or did that just grab it? I will do that too. And then if there's any time left since you've made the trip, let's go ahead and grab all of that and that. Alright, that's your job today. Edmund can work on the fences up here. And that one and this one. And then what? Let's protect the back side of this. So, you two reconstruct a brick. And then, see if I can do this wisely here. From there to there. I think that's most of them. Reconstruct to brick, and then this one. Oh, gates don't. So, we're already here, I think. We, okay, this is what we convert to. Okay, it doesn't show where we are right now. Um, pole fence was the same integrity. Is that right? Defense, fence. Alright, so we're using, well, I thought we were using wooden planks. Wooden fence decor. Integrity 400. Poles or integrity 100? Hmm. <clears throat> but I... Well, they may bust through this to get to this. I guess that's possible. Okay. Then let's take you and you and rebuild into these guys. Okay. So Edmund is reconstructing. So he... Oh, he was working on this first batch. Okay. Otherwise, what's going on? Carter's still sleeping. Umayar is up working on the force field barriers. Nothing new popped in. No. And there's nothing else set up for him to do. Don't see anything we really need. I mean, we could do emergency rations just to do it. It's only a one-day thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we'll just call that good. After that, we'll, uh, we'll find indoor tasks for him to do, other than research. Alright, so Carter's playing that. And he's going to take off. His food is still decent enough. Okay. Paulette is cooking. Simon is transporting. Why? And eating. Because he got his work done, and he says, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, Rita. <clears throat> Petting boxer. Maybe we'll just go the simple route and, you know, call him Boxer. 
could do that. Eating, eating, drinking coffee. All right, kind of what are you up to after this? You... Where are we here? We got plenty of all these other things. Shirts for waiting, waiting materials. We don't have an... What? We got all kinds of cotton. Shirt is awaiting materials. I don't know what to make of that. It sure looks like it could take cotton or synthetics. Well, she's... Oh! I always see that awaiting materials and think it means we, we are lacking materials. That, that's what it feels like when I see that. We're waiting to go and find some materials to do this job. When instead, she was... Well, it, was, it was queued up next and waiting for her to bring the materials over. Okay, so Rita is going to plant all day. We should have an attack of some kind coming in. And, wow, Edmund is quick. Okay, so that has been cleared up and, and reinforced. I don't see them busting through, skipping everything. It's so much easier to walk the gauntlet. So I don't think it's a problem. The only problem I can see is if they're coming from here. They may bust into this fence, being unwilling to go around it. You know, kind of hit a barrier there. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. But Edmund is doing this really quick. I can make you a few more up for him. We still have 150 bricks to go, 148. So Carter made his way over to here. And there we are. He's going to get hungry, but I think we can push him down into the 40s or even 30s and still maintain a decent happiness. Let him just work away here. I think we can do that. Um, you were working specifically on... Oh, there's two of them there. From here, it looked like one giant one. So you are going to do that one. And then this one? I don't know. Huh. Well, we'll just... We'll let them figure it out. You are just stone, right? Yeah. And I noticed this guy sitting over here <clears throat> and not turned on. So, not sure why that was. They're all turned off. Okay. Did I do that wrong and misinterpret that last time? That, that, this means that it's been, it's been turned off and I need to turn it back on. Aggressive animals? Wait, what? I didn't see that pop in. Wow. And we're getting more fly bugs. What is with that? Huh. Fly bugs is what my daughter calls uh, anything that flies when, when she was little. <laughs> fly bug. Fly bug. <laughs> so, yeah. We're still, still not going to be able to really get to test our traps. And 27 is not much of an attack. I wonder if there's a way to increase the difficulty just to... Well, I know how to increase the difficulty. I could get the... Where would that be? Science? Yeah. Get the orbital antennas going. That will, while they're running, cause a lot more attacks to roll in. But I was really kind of hoping to uh, actually be able to uh, test the, 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 the layout here first. But that might be something we're going to have to do. And I think... This is our spot to do it. So let's put some cut orders in. Probably time to think about getting this uh, this game kind of wrapped up anyway, this series. So we can sit here in, in this, this middle part of the game for as long as we want. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it takes to... Uh, we're still a dozen episodes away from ending if we start right now, so... Not like I'm rushing my way through it. Anyway, Rita is planting oh, planting these guys that uh, convert the soil. Yeah, I thought she had started this at one time. Hard to see them. Yeah, she must have been over here last time. Now she's working this side. If I do it this way, yeah, it shows them up a little bit better. So when did that aggressive animals uh, warning hit us? At 15 or at 14? So, let's say by 20 we need to be ready to go. Alright, that's that's better. It's still dark, unfortunately, but it's only uh, 8 o'clock. We are spring, so it still shouldn't be light by 8, but we'll see. 
So we're they're over here, but are they they're not aggressive toward anything else? Interesting. Some of the other ones were. We saw the uh I guess it has to do with, with their nature maybe. We saw the uh the scissor hands. When they came in with the scarabs, they immediately went over and started attacking everything. These guys don't seem to notice anything else around them. We still have 27. They're not very strong. So if they do go and attack something and get taken out, we'll, we'll see those numbers drop. Um, planting and tailoring boots. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea to get everybody armored up. A little bit more since these are going to be aerial attacks. Yeah. Carter, let's start with you just to see where you are. You're 42%. It's probably time to have you start hauling in. So as soon as you're done, let's draft undraft. And then let's have you... I don't want to mine four. I want to mine just the one. It won't let me. Okay. Let's haul ore. Grab those. And... Ah, such a long walk. When he carries things, he goes extra slow. Yeah. I think I'll skip that. Carter, just draft, undraft, and go get some food. And when you're done, what do we have here? We have two pants and a shirt. We'll call it shirt, just be easier. Another shirt. And that's it. So two pants, two shirts. Who has what right now? That's this one. So, Carter could use some pants. She's got both. She has got both, but in the other uh, grade. Could use a shirt, a shirt, and a shirt. Okay. And you have at least got leather, whereas the rest of them just have shirts. What are these? Coats. Oh, shirts are over there. Okay, so let's try that again. So... Oh, this takes the place of the coat. I see. So it's this one. Okay. Um, I will leave you with your leather vest a little bit longer. So Edmund. Well, I'll start with Carter. Carter, you just need the pants. So pop over here. And they're in this one, right? Yeah. Grab a leggings when you're done eating. And Simon, where are you right now? You are transporting foods okay you need the shirt so bring you next over to this one gotta zoom way out to get it you're gonna go there and Edmund needed a shirt also so when you're done is there an Edmund there he's over here he's just transporting something okay so you grab that one next and Kana I feel like I've missed something somebody else needed pants that one. Yeah. I guess we're done with pants. And we have not even come close to wearing them out. So let's take pants off of here. Uh, scroll down. Leggings. Carbon leggings. We're done. Okay. So boots are going to get a couple more of those. And then some more helmets. Okay. So that takes care of armoring them up. We'll see if they manage to actually do that before 20 hundred. <laughs> It'd take hours walking in from over there. But by not having him... Carter, why are you scavenging? Why didn't you just automatically go for food? I had to do this all over again. Okay, try it again. So, Carter, draft, undraft. Now you're getting something to eat, but that's way down over there. Come on over here. Your happiness is here. Can we ever grab some bread? Then, one more time, grab some pants. Right there. Now you're good. Where's dog? Where's boxer? Over here. Animal attack, so it began a lot sooner than I expected. Ouch. Okay, well, Carter and everyone draft and get over to here. And hopefully they won't fly right past everybody to go after Carter. As we approach this range, these should trigger. 
Like, let's get in here where we can kind of watch it from, from their perspective. Wow. Look at that. Um, hold on. We have a missile launcher. Oh, we have a missile launcher. Okay, we got to see this. I forgot about that. Okay, well, we're shooting trees. I think missile launcher is not going to do a lot of good right now. I just got to make sure it doesn't uh, blow up anything it shouldn't. So we're going to attack there. Let's go a little bit further away. Just make sure we don't blow up our, our fencing or anything. Okay, that's going to be kind of pointless, but at least you can't waste ammunition. It doesn't work that way. All right, back to... You guys don't need to be there. Come on now. Think a little smarter. All right, from this perspective right here... So every once in a while one gets a little blast of acid. Boom. Can't go up any higher. Boom. That it? That is it. Damaged machine gun turret. Will it tell me which one? So they managed to attack this a few times. Uh, not seeing any obvious damage in the metal, so it doesn't show. It is... Now, it's, it's only... What would that be? 1%? 1.5%? So, yeah, not that much damage. Um, injuries? Two injuries. We've got Umiar, who has acid spit on the left leg and is still recovering from pneumonia. Okay. And then we've got Edvin. Um, ass a spit in the head. Ow. Okay. Well, you guys go get fixed. Oh, don't do that. Just do that. There you go. So you guys go do that. Um, who could immediately start... How is our bug meat doing? Do we really need this stuff? Bug meat 256. Let's let this one ride out till morning not that big a deal and Carter and Edmund and maybe Rita maybe not will automatically get the uh, the uh, instruction to go and do that anyway but let's have Paulette take care of both hidden at the exact same time boom Paulette heal Edmund and then heal we are. You get both of those commands. All right. Boxer didn't seem to get any damage, so they didn't go after him. Um, Kathra wrote in suggesting we think about putting together a doghouse. I like the idea. I do. I, I was. I thought about that before, but where is it? Ranching. Animal shed is this great big thing. It's bigger than these. Look at the size of that. So a dog house made of this doesn't work. That would work for the Olfen. But no, that won't work for this. And these don't really work either. We could build an actual little structure. Might be kind of fun. Where? <clears throat> Be nice to be somewhere near a door. So I think that's kind of out in here. I think it is. Let's wait till the sun comes up so we can not have to do this in the dark. Rita's going to get a little more planting in. And. Alright, so Omar is being treated. Edmund has already been treated. Edmund's eating. Kana is petting Boxer. Cool. Simon is transporting. Maybe he got some of this done. He is racing off to go get some sticks or something. Carter's sitting. Umiar is drinking. <laughs> hey. Sitting and having a conversation. Nice. Just relaxing in our our carbon armor. Mm-hmm. And no, that does not look comfortable. That looks comfortable. That does not. But to each his own. All right, Edmund insisted. Oh, I didn't get to read that. 
Something about stronger than somebody. Kano's appreciating Shroom Torch. And nobody got the the desperate need to go out there. And, oh, because I didn't set them for Butcher. That's why. Give me 27 of these guys. Nine. Double click. 13? Really? How come I can't get all of them in the screen? Okay. Butcher. Butcher. So does that count as all of them by now? Do that a few more times. Yep. Nothing else is triggering, so I guess that's... Well, I can do it this way. Right there. That's 24. So there's three more somewhere that's not been accounted for. Where else would they have been taken down? In the woods? That was a Pankoth moving in. He knows when there's when there's dinner. Hmm. Not sure where the other ones are, but we've got some serious thunder happening out there and, and over my house today. Thunderstorms rolling in. Should be another round of it late tonight. Otherwise, I would think it's time to go to bed, but these guys are all getting themselves uh, set up for their next projects. Well, Carter is butchering. He did get the command. Edmund would have had I had everybody set to butcher. Um, otherwise, I think I'm just going to speed this up a little bit and let them get this round of stuffs done. And, oh, rain. No thunderstorm again. Damage machine gun turret, but it's set for, for repair. That's an automatic thing. Everybody's headed in, and I'm seeing sleep on everybody but Rita. She's going to eat first, and then she will be off to bed. <laughs> Just as she's off to bed, Edmund's already up. Wow. Yep, rest 99%. Okay, well, Edmund, how about you? Oh, we had a tachyon source. Didn't we? Let's see here. Grab a... Edmund, you like meat pie, right? You like buttermelon pie, and we haven't got that. So just grab something to eat. Grab some grain porridge. And... I'd say some relaxation. And then we will send you off to... That one. Okay. That is six hours away. And make that happen. Um, I did queue up these trees to be cut down. I guess I missed one. So Edmund had gone and done that. With these cut down, we could build a very strong base, which is what it's going to take to set this guy on. Uh, go back to that. There we go. Um, well, it said somewhere there. Requires a very strong base. I'm not seeing it. Interesting. Where was it that I read that? Out over here doesn't tell me either. Anyway, you are... Let's do it right here. One, two, three, four, five. So five by five, we'll pull it off. And just like that, the rain is gone. And I'm talking away here. You're playing. Edmund, you are getting there. I'll get you to like 80, then I'll send you off. Yeah, something like that. All right, expeditions and tachyon source, Edmund, send. And you get the command right after the, you're done doing that, like now. Yep, on an expedition. Um, any other expeditions? I don't think we really need any more. So, yeah, we'll just let Rita continue her planting and Carter continue his butchering. And let's build a doghouse. So I'm thinking out over here. Little structure. So I'm going to pause it so that I don't have to wonder about what's happening behind me. Housing. Flooring. Um, we'll make this out of planks. And let's see... Door is over here and over here. 
up against the building? Mm, don't think I like that. I'm thinking like right here. Alright, that's there. And stairs, don't think it would really need it. I think I'll skip that. And how best to make a doghouse. Let's think about probably just an archway uh, out of wood. Right there. Requires walls. Oh, okay. That's actually a door. Okay. So, housing. Where are walls? There they are. Out of planks. And we'll build four walls. I wish I could make them half walls, but don't believe that's a thing. So, it's going to be kind of a funky looking doghouse. Um, housing. Archway. Wood. Go right there. And then... Housing roof out of wood. Planks? I guess it's more of a shingled look, huh? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that looks different from the rest. And I want to say it's X and Z. Roof direction is R and T. Let's turn the roofs on so we can see what's happening here. Okay. Um, probably in this direction here. And then roof inclination. Okay, that's these two. So let's stretch it out like that. Oh, that makes, that's his depth, okay. And then what else? That is it. So, hmm. Now I think we'll go with a, with a full pitch. Right there. There's a little dog house. In that will be Storage, let's see, animals, ranching, animal spot, right there. Ha ha ha, I like it. Alright, a spot for boxer. Alright, so, that's right, this is a mountain course, so I can't highlight all this and say, highest priority, get it done. Ah, uh, toxic ash, great. Now that Edmund is gone, or leaving, he's gonna come back sick. Darn, darn, darn. And that just disappeared. But there's no Pankoth here. Are they rotting out from underneath us? Not that fast. I wonder if the toxic ash is going to speed this up. It could. Alright, well, in that case, let's get Umiar out here to work on five of these. Kanong will leave you alone. Simon, you can work on another five. A four and a single one. That one. And Rita is still sleeping. She must have worked through the night. But your your rest is done now, and you can you can come out and do another four of those. Okay. Uh, Paulette, please keep cooking. Carter's gonna do the rest of it automatically. Okay. That's good. So, yeah, that's going to look good. Carter can work on this. Well, he won't even think about it until after uh, all the butchering is done because hunting is first on his list. Let's turn the roofs off. See what's happening in here. We are making something. I can hear you. You were, it, it's invisible, but we're making it. <laughs> Khan is out over here, sewing something. And who else is in here? Boxer. That's it. Everybody else is back here. Rita, butchering away. Carter's hauling it in. Umiar, there you are. Not Simon. There's Umiar. Short order of that humming fly. And there goes. What was that noise? Something just kind of roared. Oh, is there a. We'll call him a buzzard right here. Bone Crusher. He just screeched as he went by. That's what that noise was. Wow. <clears throat> I don't know what a pterodactyl sounds like. Oh, there you go. This still needs repair? Yep, yeah, but there's not much damage, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to 
tell someone to go do it specifically. I have a few things that are ready to harvest. Otherwise, I think these may be damaged by the ash. 10%. Minus 10% because of toxic ash. Okay. So it damages the growth rate. And everything's got a 98% red, so must be part of it too. That's health. Okay. There he goes. Okay, just sitting back and watching this and realizing it's hot in here. I looked up at my clock and it says it's 90.1 degrees in my studio. Yeah, a bit of a heat wave going on where I'm at. And I'm feeling it. I'm up on the second floor and right above me is the attic and above that is the sun. <laughs> I've got a portable air conditioner that I've mounted to this room that I can turn on when I desperately need to. So 90 degrees is about as far as I want the room to be for this computer. I'll get this episode done and things will start cooling down, but this computer does put out a lot of heat when I'm recording a game like this. A lot of graphics, big open world game like, like Stranded. Harvesting. Tailoring. Making oils. How's our food looking? 39 does not look good. Darn it, every time I set that there and want to just sit back, it moves. So we've got three grain porridges, three breads, two veggie stews, and that is it. So I think when the last of this research is done, we're going to skill up Umayar in cooking. I think that is the next important thing to do. How you doing, though, being outside and all? Now, your happiness is tanking because you are starving. So you're hauling things in, and that should... Yeah, transporting seven meats. After that, let's get you to eat. Exploration complete tachyon source. Um, <clears throat> Umiara likes bread. So let's just queue you up for that. All right, Edmund, what'd you find? I found an ancient teaching device. It has a CPU to brain interface that writes knowledge directly into the subconscious. The subroutines seem made for military personnel. Interesting. The system seems operational, but its power source has enough charge for a single operation. What should I do? So should I be sending various characters to these tachyon sources? Is this mostly going to be a, a learning thing? It might be. Um, what do I want Edmund to learn? If I increase his physical, he can bring more stuff back. He doesn't need the intellect or the heal. Well, he's got some healing already. Combat's always a benefit, too. I think I'm going to boost his physical. Yeah. We'll do that. And we are not running. Nothing happened here. Edmund's physical is now a 7. Whereas Carter is going on an 8. Okay. Don't know that it boosted that much. He was at least a 6. So maybe it's just a one point climb. Or it just takes you to the beginning of the next point. Because I thought he was six something. So maybe that's what it was. Okay. Anyway, Omer is on his way back. He said transporting afterward. I'm worried that he's going to go back and get some more. Yeah, there's another transport in there. So, and he's going so slow. Let's just grab the bread right now. And someone else will grab that meat and do something with it. Or I can have him... Nope, Simon's got it. Great. Taken care of, and he can get his... Oh, he's still in a good mood after all that. What was I seeing? I guess I've seen that line or something. But yeah, he's... Well, okay, he's going up really fast all on his own. Okay. So, I don't know where he was now. Prior to that, Carter's bringing this stuff back, and he's still in pretty good shape. He'll handle the rest of these and be done. So... I'll let somebody else handle those. Carter, when you're done, let's get you... In fact, let's do that right now. Simon will find that meat and he'll bring that in. Let's get this guy built. 
build that and anything else to build uh, no how about dog bed? Oh, dog bed will build no it won't build automatically but it's waiting for the floor okay can I get to the roof but it's waiting for the walls so nothing is going to happen until the floor is done okay construct the floor and I think everything else will start to queue in um, Simon's on the didgeridoo. Paulette is cooking with the oil she just made. Con is making another uniform. Did you guys ever get your stuffs? Probably not. So Rita is fine. Unless there's boots. Yeah, let's get Rita some boots. Probably here. No boots. No boots. No boots. So... Kana never did finish the boots. She went right back to this because somebody used one. Okay. Um, okay, the plus symbol has to do with health, has to do with the toxic ash. Okay. Paulette has got one of everything. Rita's just needs the boots. Simon is fine. Edmund is gone. You're fine. And it's probably your turn. Any of those left? Yes. So Umayar, when you're done with that, at your leisure, go ahead and grab that vest. And that's all that I can really pile on anybody right now. Carter's constructing the floor. He brought the wood for everything. So he's going to just tap a couple of times and... Yep. That's nice that he stepped away from this one before it built. <laughs> um, no, can you, Carter... There we go. Construct all the walls and any other walls you missed. And construct right now please and thank you and there there you go and then go ahead and get the animal spot built and once these are built we can get the roof built and we'll have the structure done before dark and everybody can see it let's also grab the oh right there oh we're waiting for the wall to get built around it okay so we can't build that yet Carter, you are still in decent shape. Except for relaxation, you're fine. Let's get these built. That is one tall doghouse. Yep. But, alright, you're doing that. I just don't want you to escape. Rita's harvesting. Paulette is still cooking. Simon is transporting more meats. And while you are out here, Simon, Simon, why don't you go ahead and butcher that first and these two and then you'll pick up the last of the meats okay and that is done Carter's over here building these guys and one more wall then I can get you to get the doorway done and then I can get you to get the roofing done and that is all that is all and we've got a doghouse yep that works for Stranded Alien Dawn, that works pretty darn good. Do we want a little window? That's going to make it kind of cold. Yeah, I think we'll leave it just like that. So, you are now... Uh, owner is Boxer. Okay. And roof's off. This one is Deconstruct. And Carter, can you... Kana, you can do this. Kind of want you to go over here and deconstruct that so there's no confusion at bedtime. Okay. So there's our new doghouse. Good idea. Do these work just as well in an ash storm? 18 of 20. They do seem to drop. Okay. I didn't notice if they dropped in the snow. That would have been appropriate as well. A kind of a low hissy rumble in the background from the ash storm. Um, Simon should be back, or Edmund should be back soon, and does it say anything else? One hour, it doesn't say what he actually gained. Okay, when he's back in an hour, he's probably going to be not very healthy. Um, lungs, shortness of breath, pneumonia immunity though. Okay, getting dark. Transporting, transporting, that's the end of the butchering. Rita is transporting what she just 
harvested in here. These got done. And at least that one replanted. I don't think there's any baby plants in there. Those are ready for her. This is a cut job, so probably not going to automatically queue up unless there's nothing else to do. And these guys, first of our energy crystals, 30% growth. Another couple of episodes and we'll be building uh, power cells and new weapons. That'll be exciting. By then, she will have probably finished all of the armor. Yeah, I think so. Um, Edmund's back, and he's cutting a tree. Okay, maybe we can get that laid out too before this one's done. But Edmund, when you are finished with that, I need you to walk over and grab a vest. Okay. Um, you are transporting, and then you're going to do that. All right, so over here... Oh, you're not transporting. You're queued to transport next. All right, with this down, we need two 5x5s. Five and it would make sense if we spread them out, but this is the space we have left, so I think I'm going to just do it. You are flooring, so housing... Force field barriers. Flooring. Not flooring. Housing. Floor. Concrete. Something like you. Now we're going to have to reinforce this because they're going to want to attack these guys. In fact, we are. Hmm. I'm going to try something here. We'll do that one. And stairs heading in right there. And then copy, build another one. Nothing fancy. Five by five. Can I go down? X, Z. That's it. There. And R. Right next to each other. Okay. So with that, that would have been nice to have made this that height. I think I'll do that real quick. Okay. That looks better. Yeah, it looks like it was meant to be that way. All right. So we can set these guys on top of those when we're ready for it. And defense. Fortification. Force field. Oh, I see. So that also gave us what if... Oh, the force field acts as a gate. Force field. Oh, it acts as a fence line. So that is the gate. And that is the fence. Okay. Consumes only one power, but it goes up when it's being used. Hmm. I was going to say, let's do something that I saw solid content do. He would take the walls. I won't actually do it, but I'll just simulate it here. Um, he would do something... Boy, it doesn't want to show, does it? There we go. Like that. That. Yeah, we're going to have to do this. I guess I can hit copy each time. Anyway, he came up with this in his series, and it seemed to work really well. I guess if I hold the shift down, if I go down that way, no. It doesn't let me just start up again. Copy, hold the shift down. There. No, I've got to pull away from it each time. It's only going to let me continue from where I stopped clicking. Yeah, bummer. Anyway, he created this, what we call like a honeycomb wall. And when they come to attack, if they're, you know, hell-bent to take out what's on the other side of that fence, they'd have to attack this one, and they would just kind of randomly go after one of these side ones here, and then they'd eventually get to that one. But by the time they got that many layers in, the battle's pretty much over. So we could honeycomb this area, but something that he didn't have on that series of his that I saw, we could also give these a try. Which takes what? Ten metal alloys. Okay. And the one power that probably goes up considerably when it's being used. But we would only use it for certain areas, probably right in here. Okay. Well, I will think about that. Let me figure out how to turn all these guys off. 
There we go. So that one can be built. Um, we're lacking a whole bunch of concrete. We have stone. Stone. We have some stone. It is 2300. So, Simon, when you are done with what? That. You're going to fill these up. You're going to grab a meat pie, which we don't have. So, a bread. And then you're going to get some sleep. Simon, you're over here. And then when you wake up, you're going to make concrete. Just so that I remember that I'm doing that. Right there. Okay. So Simon is set for next time. Otherwise, I think we're getting close to wrapping this up. Hopefully this toxic ash doesn't last too much longer. We've read this before, but you can pause if you want to read that again. Otherwise, we have got to find a whole bunch of concrete. Yep. So, this is... If I were to queue that area, it's just these guys and they're already queued up. Okay. As far as... What was that noise? Somebody was idling for a second. As far as close by stone, it is already queued up. Just got to get somebody to do it. How's the dog house? Oh, just in time. All right. There's a fitting ending to the episode. Nope. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> I've done this too. Build a great dog house and they sleep outside. Yep. Sound asleep. Mm hmm. So what did I miss? You don't truly need a staircase to get up there, do you? I mean, you might. It is possible. It is possible. All right, stairs, wood, right there, and it won't let me. Can I, is it because he's laying there? No, it just, it does not like the grade. Interesting. Well, I'll pop that there, and next time we can, Put this door in, and we can deconstruct that door, and we will do our doghouse a little bit better. But maybe he truly cannot climb over the top. Maybe the game is programmed that uh, he can't pop up a ladder, so that means he doesn't go anywhere that uh, isn't available. Could be. So with that, Edmund's already building. We'll see a staircase pop in. And we'll call this one done. Pretty much everybody else is sound asleep. And time for me to shut down as well. But what do concrete stairs look like? Just taking his time there. He's trying to make it as perfect as possible. Him and his helmet. There we go. Yep. Looks pretty solid to me. Alright, you're going to bed. So are we. So, with that, I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.